Hello and welcome everyone to SCFA Football on SoCalCollegeSports.com. I am Mike Zepeda, joined alongside my good buddy and partner in crime, Jeff Stoinoff. And today's matchup, Ventura College here at Longview City College at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Approaches, here's the kick. And it's going to be Malvo from the six. Malvo bounces it outside at the 25, now has a lane. Malvo into the open field. Go. He's into Ventura territory, 35-30. Cuts back at the 25 and he's pulled down from behind at the 19 yard line. Let me quickly do the math. A 75 yard return for Malvo. Keltane Malvo pretty fast. He picks him up, puts him down pretty good. Pope from the shotgun, four wide receivers rolling to his left under pressure. Wheeler. Rainbows the back of the end zone and it's Wheeler near the sidelines. A flag comes in late and it's a touchdown for Wheeler. Well, there was a lot of contact there, Jeff. Is this going to be on Wheeler or is this going to be on Ventura? If it's on Ventura, it's six for Long Beach, but let's wait on the call. Terrific throw and catch from Pope and Wheeler. Pope throwing on the run, gets good air under the ball, and Wheeler, a great job going up and coming down with it. Okay, on and the, the defense. pass interference working against Ventura, so count the six. Pope. His first touchdown pass of the season. Oh, what a job by Pope and Wheeler. First on Pope putting it in a bread basket, then Wheeler hauling it in against Ventura in the event they have to kick a field goal. Feathers stays in the game, so keep an eye on Smith at the top of your screen. Uh oh, pass down the middle, caught for a touchdown. Jess, it was a it was a zone coverage, perfect throw by Feathers. Nice route there, and that looks like it was a Regi. Okay. Tyler Spite. Tyler Spite making the catch, working down the middle of the field. And he was open, and a terrific throw from Ebon Feathers. You made the point just a moment ago, and he has looked very solid since returning, definitely settled down. And that was a strike right down the middle to Spite for the touchdown. I, I Setting up the wide receiver screen, that ball is complete, plenty of room. 35, oh, wow. a hurdle at the 30 and down to the 20-yard line. Oh, Guard for Long Beach City resulting in a big play and now they have it first and goal. Kendall Worth in the backfield with Feathers, three receivers to the top of your screen. Low snap, but Feathers has it with time. Looking over the middle, touchdown Pirates. First and 10 from the 14. Feathers, man in motion. That's Kendall Worth. Goes up top, inside handoff. Here's Willie Willis. Willis cuts it outside, dives for the pylon, touchdown Pirates. That's a great read by Willis. He takes the inside handoff, sees the defender coming up, bounces it outside around a blocker, finds the room on the near sideline, and gets to the pylon for the touchdown. We up at the top, Feather's gonna keep it himself, rolling out to his right, has a man in the end zone, touchdown Pirates! Wide open in the back of the end zone. Kendall Worth on the reception, and a man simply fell down, I wanna say that was Malvo. Yeah, Keltain Malvo fell down. I mean, the last With what we saw. Block kick! Ventura gonna take it in the end zone, touchdown Pirates! And that's Ike Erigi all over the place. Running the football and now he comes up with a touchdown on special team. Back to pass, has a man in the flat, touchdown Jared Ginter for Long Beach. Another well-designed play, Ginter coming out of the backfield, leaks out to the near side. Nobody picks him up and he's wide open, easy pitch and catch. And a 75-yard drive culminating with a touchdown for Long Beach City College. And, hey, the day has a highlight now if you're Long Beach City College. Uh, a heck of a drive there. Odeman with time. Looking over the middle on the pass. Caught for a touchdown. Ventura on fourth down. So your final score today, 51-14. Ventura most impressively here at Long Beach over the Vikings of Long Beach City College. We're going to take a short break in the action.